Hi guys, welcome back. So today uh, we're gonna have a look at Fingers Crossed by Lawrence Spencer Smith, if I'm not wrong. And uh, now this is more of like a low key um, happier by Olivia Rodrigo, another great person. Um, but this song is really fire. I love this song. We got to keep it on Fresh Fair, and I just thought of showing you. Even both the songs are having the same chords. The same progression, the, uh, they are in the same key and all. So we got to keep on for Fred, the cause will be easy. But I would like to just show you the main uh, riff which actually goes in the song. So uh, ignore my voice, I just got a bit of cold and stuff like that. But I'm working on it. So we got to uh, keep on for Fred. And let's have a quick look at the easiest chord shapes. Then I'll be just showing you the structure of the song. C major, mute 3 to open first open. Uh, then we have an A minor which is mute open second second first open. Then we got a D minor, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, first. And then we got a G, which is 3, 2, open, 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 3. And another chord shape you want, you can learn this. It's uh, actually a F. We need that uh, this chord for one part of the song, which is a pre-chorus uh, part 2. So we have a mute, mute, 3, 2, 1, open. And you can just play DGB. That will be okay. So you guys know the chord shapes. Now let's have a look at the structure. We started with the verse. We have Introduce me to your family and that just goes on. We just move on to the chorus. Finger picking ends. We're just going to be strumming the chords. Move on to another verse. We'll be seeing. And then you have a pre-chorus. Yes, after the second verse we have a pre-chorus and it's a bit different chord progression but it's really easy and the things gets a bit silent out there so we're just gonna be doing one yes in every chord and then we just move on to the chorus which will be same we got a bridge of the song which will be having the same chord progression and then we have the last chorus which i like to call a soft chorus since we'll be going for one down in every chord so let's have a look at the chord progression the main chord progression c a minor d minor and a g now let's have a quick look at the right hand uh, using the thumb to hit the top three strings. These are the three strings where we gotta have the bass note of every chord located. So E A D thumb index for the G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string. And now uh, you hold the C major chord and have a look at the tab. This is the pattern for the C major chord. I hit the E. Now I'll say you match the pattern of C major chord. It will be a lot easy to do it on the other chords as well because they are the same after all. So we have. So what I'm doing, I'm playing A, G, A, then I hit the E string, then B, then G, then A, then G. Got it? So we have A, G, A, E, B, G, A, G. That's it. There you have it. So we got... that twice for every call so C major we have one more time go to A minus just a minute four five six seven eight yeah you move on to the A minor chord we have the same thing A G A but this time we play the B string then G, then A, then G, then A. So it's a slight change in the pattern over here, but uh, kind of the same thing. So we have A, G, A, B, G, A, G, A. So A, G, A, B, G, A, G. You can even hit that A another time, but it's up to you. So we got A, G, A, B, G, A, G. I think that would be better. A, G, B, A, G, A, B, G, A, G. So that's the A minor. So we don't have the high E string for the A minor chord, but for the C major we do have. So we have A minor. For the D minor, you hold the chord shape, you play D, G, D. Go to E, B, G, D, G. Repeat D, G, D, E, B, G, D, G. So very similarity between the C and the D minor chord. Only the bass note changes and certain stuff, but if you play the D minor chord over here, it will be exactly the same. Right? 
right? Take that. You go to the G major chord. You just have third finger on top of E string and you play E top E E G E B G E G. So E G E B G E G E G E B G E G. Again, we don't have the high E string for the G major chord. Uh, so some examples with the A minor chord. So C with a D minor and A minor with a G major. You find the similarity. So we got. So I'm just gonna play that another time, but slowly for you guys. Take time, pause the video, practice, then just play along with me. One, two. That's it. Uh, that's the words. Uh, for the chorus, what you can do is you can do the strength pattern. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and down. Play along with me. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, twice what we got, but I like to do this one. Uh, we got the bridge, it will be the same. Uh, we have the last chorus, which will be just one dance show. So keep it slow, keep it soft. But the pre chorus, which just comes after the verse 2, it will be an A minor, then a G, then an F. And you deserve uh, something like that, if I'm not wrong, uh, we have in that part. Uh, if you just give me a second, I think I could say I'm sorry, you don't deserve the one. Uh, we have something like that. So we have down, G, F, two, three, four. Again, okay. move on to the chorus, we have the thing. That's it. And I hope this video helps you out, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe, it means a lot to me. Uh, and also, drop me one of these. I know there's no dislike button right now, but if you still like, it really looks good on a video. So that's it. I'll see you guys back in the next one. Till then, bye.